Hi, I'm Jess, and today we're going to look at the conventional manual call point and how to install it correctly. First, cut a hole in your substrate for cabling access. Use an appropriate size. We've used a 20mm hole saw. Fasten the manual call point back box to the substrate using four fixing screws. Make sure it is level and secure. Attach the mounting bracket to the back box using the fixing screws provided. Do not over tighten the screws. Strip the conductors to the correct length and push them through the hole. You may need to apply sleeving to the screen conductor. For this demonstration, we've used green and yellow sleeving. For this step, you'll need to wire the head unit. There are two ways to do it. For this demonstration, we've chosen to have the LED not illuminate when the call point is activated. This means we terminate the positive out to the positive out terminal and negative out to the negative out terminal and then the negative in to the negative in terminal and the positive in to the positive in terminal. To wire the head unit so the LED does illuminate, the positive connections move one step inwards. Refer to the installation guide diagrams for more information. Fasten the screen connections to the screen terminal. Attach the head unit to the mounting bracket. And now the conventional manual call point is installed. To activate the device, press the centre button. This will click into place and show yellow and black stripes to indicate that the manual call point has been activated. You'll also need the reset key. Insert it into the slot and turn clockwise. The mechanism will turn back into place and the device will reset. To remove the head unit, you'll also need the reset key. First, insert it into the slot. Place a finger on the top of the head unit and turn the key counterclockwise while pushing down lightly with your finger. The unit should separate with the mounting bracket and you'll have access to the wiring. And now, the conventional manual call point is installed. Thanks for watching. For more information on manual call point installation, check out these videos.